hi. So I'm going to show you a couple of things here. I'm going to show you where we can find our balances. So we can go here. We can see that I put a deposit in the other day that I showed you how to do. The uh, $500 is in there. It's completed. And now I want to go make a trade. So I go up here to the left and I hit this trade button. And you can see here that I can set up these charts. Um, you know, we can go what we want to follow is Bitcoin and uh, we can specify the amount of days, if it's candles, all of that stuff. Uh, and you can just play around with this chart. You know, you can have down here is where you can you can change things. I haven't played around a lot with this, but there you go. Now I want to trade in Canadian dollars. So over here are my different markets that I can uh, trade in. And so um, I'm going to select Bitcoin Canadian. Uh, and that'll give me the current Canadian price, which is $62,095. Uh, and, and I've already got a buy-in at $61,700. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to do that. So I'm going to cancel this order that I've put in. There's the cancel. It's going to ask me, yes, I want to cancel that. So now you can see I now have a balance of $500 in my account. I can do a market order here. Uh, and that'll just tell me you know, how many I can buy at that, the current market price. That'll change as the, as the market changes, but I'm going to do a limit order and I want to pay, uh, let's call it, uh, 61,700 is what I want to pay. And now it'll, if I hit the enter amount here, it'll show me the max amount I can buy for that price. And now I can hit buy. And now you can see that my order on February 14th was submitted to buy at a price of 61700 the amount of Bitcoins. And of course, I can cancel that if I want. And there you go. 